Good morning. Good morning. This is a quick tutorial uh, on how to rotoscope or video paint or paint layers of video in Photoshop CS5. Uh, I've been teaching this uh, rotoscoping idea. Uh, it's obviously not my idea, it's something new for quite a few years, but I've just never uh, managed to make a tutorial for my students, so that's why I'm making this. So they can watch this while, um, if they get stuck at all. So in Photoshop, all you need to do is go to bring the video in, we get a rotoscope, is file open. And what I do, I've got two, two um, girls cartwheeling on an AstroTurf. And we'll just load this up. So file open to open the video. There we go. Now we need to bring up the animation timeline. So we go to window menu and press animation. And then down here, I call it the annoying arrow because it's so small. We're going to make sure enable timeline shortcut keys is enabled. And now I can toggle, I can scrub time left and right with my um, cursor key. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until these uh, girls um, start moving. So as, um, as they um, come in and as soon as they land we're going to make this area here light up. Now there's several ways you can do that. So the first way we can do that is simply grab um, the paint bucket tool which is underneath the gradient tool and um, you can choose a colour and I can just click like that and there and that's, that's probably the easiest way I'll show you another way later on so we've got um, I'll just finish this so we'll just do that half this is a, a tapawai it's a netball court but students in New Zealand play a game called tapawai I've forgotten how it works and what we'll do, we've got another student coming in here, and when, and when this other student touches the court, we'll get um, the outer one to light up. So I'll do a bit more. Okay, so this student's just touched this outer one, so let's change the colour. Let's go down to red. You could do a gradient, anything you want. You could change the filter. You could make it colour burn if you want. Let's colour burn. That's sort of bleeding in. Okay, so I'll show you a different way. Um, so let's go forward. So let's say we're just going to light up this outside part. Uh, you can do that with the magic wand tool. Okay. You do it like that. And then you could colour in with the pay bucket tool. Or you could colour in with a brush tool. Like that. Or another way, whoops, wrong key, control D, deselect the ants. Another way is to use the quick selection tool, which is, sorry, underneath the, it's where the magic wand is tool is as well. And we can just add to the selection these parts here. Alright, so she's touching up that part, the outside. And add to the selection, add, add, add. And then we could just paint that in. Alright, and I might as well do that last bit as well. And it's colour burn. Alright, and then you just go forward and do it again. A little bit in there we need to subtract away, just there, it's a little bit better. It's always a little bit rushed doing tutorials, but you'll get the idea. Um, you can do the old Michael Jackson thing, uh, there's a video, can't remember what it's called, Michael Jackson's walking down a um, um, sidewalk, and the, the, the lighting up, obviously in those days there were probably lights underneath it. Okay. So I mean you gotta be pretty patient, you gotta be pretty much paid every single frame. Okay. 
No, we'll, we'll just move forward a bit, skip a bit. So as, as this young lady just touches this middle part here, we'll light up the middle one, we'll go Control D, and we'll just go back to the paint bucket tool. We'll change the color again, we'll go to blue. Alright, we'll go forward a bit. And you get the idea. And so let's play that. From the start. So we've only done about two seconds. Free space. Always lags a bit in um in Photoshop. So that's the basics of how to paint video in Photoshop CS5. And obviously if I spent another half an hour, it would look finished and look a much look much better. Thanks very much.